more scary games. I think you are ready for some scary games. Today we're gonna watch three scary games. Today we're gonna watch some quick scares. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to some more Quick Scares. Now if you remember on one of my previous episodes, I played a game called 3AM at the Krusty Krab. Well now I'm going to be playing a spin-off of that game called 6AM at the Chum Bucket. So what I can see from the premise of this game is that Squidward has quit his job and he's gone to work at the Chum Bucket, working the 6AM shift. Let's see how this goes down. Before we start today's Quick Scares guys, I'd like to remind you to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down there as well. It would mean an awful lot to me if you did. And make sure you're hitting that little notification bell down there as well guys and you'll be kept up to date about when I upload my latest videos and why not follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well guys and you'll be the first to know about what's coming out on the channel let's jump back into the scary games oh okay his bicycle I love his bicycle actually put a cutscene in this that's amazing okay oh and I can crouch in this now as well Okay, and I can kind of sprint. Eat, enter the chumbuck. Hello? Hello? As if I need a flashlight at six in the morning. Chumbuck it. Chum burger, chum fries, chum shake, chum on a stick. E to open. I don't even know what room this is. What did it say? The office. Okay. Plan number 749 will trick people into eating chum disguised as Krabby Patties. <laughs> God, I love Plankton's plans. Okay. Ah! Is Plankton dead? Plankton's been squashed, hasn't he? Yep, Plankton has been squashed. Damn. Oh, sorry you had to go like that, Plankton. Objective, leave the chum bucket. Let's leave as fast as we can. Oh, no. <laughs> Get out of there. Find a way to turn off the alarm. Oh god, okay. Shit, well this this is already more tense than 3am uh, at the Krusty Krab. What was that noise? Something coming for me already? Oh fuck, okay. That I remember that noise. I'll turn my flashlight on. That would probably help. Anything in the toilets? Key inside, maybe. Maybe. Oh god, okay. I have to... Yep. Same principle as last time. I have to hold the button and wait for the loading bar to go away. You found nothing. Fucking lovely. Anything in the ladies? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck are you... <laughs> It's Plankton's assistant, or whatever she is. I can't remember her name. Okay, find a way to turn off the alarm. Let's go again. I'm not going to go in the ladies' room. Staff only. The lab, the door control. Pressing buttons. Hopefully that'll do something. The door to the lab has been unlocked. No, no, no. No! God damn it. Making sweet ass music with those buttons. Because there's something. What, what the fuck is that? Just. Yeah, a projector of a lovely, beautiful Labrador. I'm a bit of a dog person. I do love Labradors. Oh! No. Come on! Doors to the lab's been unlocked. I uh, need to deactivate these barricades. Right, okay. So, this room is... I hope she cannot come in here. Okay. Uh, what have we got in here? Maintenance. That's some... I need a silver key. God, there's so much blood in here. Storage. God, this is so much more complicated than the first game. What have we got? Chum. Lots and lots of chum. Where the fuck am I going to find all these keys? What's in here? The fuck is that? There's somebody dead in there. Is that where the chum comes from? 
I think it's implying that's where the chum comes from. There's nothing in the storage rooms, apart from blood and fucking skips. God, I remember those flashing lights all too well. Come on, stop! Stop! See me, see me, see me. She can't come in, she can't come in, she can't come in. Okay. I think in this game there might be multiple things running around as well. So, let's go into the kitchen and have a look. Right, okay. Key inside, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Sega. God damn it! I was like, well, is something in here with me? But by the time I fucking seen it, she got me. Right, okay, let's uh, maybe see if I can find that. Ah! No, 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 no! For God's sake! I've got a feeling this game might take me uh, forever. Okay, she's not in here. Not in here. Oh, that sound. Oh. Please be a key inside. You found a silver key. Perfect. I know exactly where that's for. Unlock this. Then through the lab and then into the laboratory, I believe, with the silver key. Okay. Okay, into the lab. Can I get through? Oh, no, I need to deactivate them. So, fuck, what door needed that? Need to unlock, that was it. Right. Breaker. Don't you dare come in here. Power's already on. So, do I need to do something with this? Use this contraption. You unlock the processing room door, perfect. I can't remember where the processing room is. No, 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 run, run, run. <laughs> ah, for God's sake, I wanted to try and lock myself in the door control room and it didn't work. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to start again. First of all, kitchen. No. Sake, man. This is so much more stressful than the first game. Okay. Silver key. Now we're going to here. Key to the lab has been unlocked. But I need to go into the maintenance first. I need to use this contraption. Processing room door unlocked. Okay. It was in here. Processing room. Oh, nasty. Oh, God. Those eyes. Fucking hell. The basement. Oh, I'm not sure if I want to go in the basement. I remember what happened in the... Okay. No, I remember what happened... I remember what happened in the basement on 3am uh, at the Krusty Krab. That was uh, pretty, uh, scarring. The door to the laboratory has been unlocked. But I want to have a... No, uh, I'm not wasting my time going down that. Good, good boy, Squidward. Good lad. Okay. Oh, I really want to avoid it. Okay. The laboratory is this way. 
Okay. I'm... Oh! <laughs> SpongeBob! What happened to you? SpongeBob! No! <laughs> no! Oh, God, okay. Well, I'm sorry this happened to you, SpongeBob. It looks like you pissed yourself as well. Nasty. This is lighting up. Use this contraption. Alarm deactivated. Front door. Find the power box. I think I know where the power box is. Oh, SpongeBob's gone. Oh, no. The breaker. I remember seeing the breaker. It was in the maintenance room. Turning on the power, turning on the power, turning on the power, turning on the power, turning on the power. Oh, I hope SpongeBob doesn't get me. Activated breaker. What, what? There's another one. Oh, come on. Where's the other breaker? There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Activated breaker, two of two power restored. Okay, I've got to get back to the front door. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, was not expecting that, I just peered out of there. Oh, come on, I've got to do it all again! Breaker one of two is on. Do not want zombie SpongeBob to get me. Come on, what? No! 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 <sighs> Didn't realize she was still around. I thought. No! 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 Come on! Oh! Why is she still around? I am determined to beat this game. I am determined. Nope, that way. No! <laughs> sake. Okay, gone. I've got a feeling it might have something to do with the black sludge on the floor or the black marks on the floor. If I go over them, Spongebob will get me. Oh, that just appeared. Do not go over that. Yep, I've got a feeling it has something to do with the black sludge that just appears on the floor. Okay, try and escape again. Okay, okay, I can see the exit, I can see the exit, I can see the exit. Come on, what? No! What was that supposed to happen? I think that was supposed to happen. There's more. I, I thought I'd escaped, I thought it was over. Oh no, am I going to be experimented on? Am I going to be made into chum burgers? Find a way out of here. Well, at least they didn't take my flashlight. We're gonna turn you into chum, Squidward! Chum! No! Okay. Oh, what? What? Oh, that was loud! Come on! Really? Really? Is there no escape in it because it just breaks through the wall? I'm thinking maybe I have to run from it? Run, 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 run. I have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm cornered. Or maybe not. There! No! That's the way I came in! Oh no! <laughs> Try this way this time.
I'm gonna go this way and hope for the best. Am I in the basement? I think I might be in the basement. Oh god. That music as well. <laughs> oh, it's so fast. Break. Exit! Oh fuck. Get to the front door. Now! It's coming for me, it's coming for me. SpongeBob's gonna be around as well. Watch out for the black sludge. No! Through here. Exit, 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 come on! Have I made it out? I've made it out. Who's that? Is that Mr. Krabs? Is he gonna give me my job back? <laughs> Don't ever go back in the chum bucket, Squidward. I escaped. I did it. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to do that, because obviously it was so confusing at first, but I did it. I did it. So I've completed 3am at the Krusty Krab and 6am at the Chum Bucket. I believe there is another game as well, and I'll be doing that soon, hopefully. They've really stepped up their game since the first one, so congratulations on that. That did make me jump numerous times. Okay, guys, now we've got another game called Tender. I'll put a link down in the description to this one, along with all the games I played today. But this one just struck a chord with me. It looked interesting, so I thought I'd give it a go. In 1991, a young Floridian couple goes missing while hiking. After weeks of intense searching, an individual living near the hikers missing area was the only suspect. The individual was interrogated and his home searched but no clues to the disappearance of the hikers were ever found so he was released. Until this day no further information is known about the missing hikers. Right. Well it's chucking me right in. I'm very hungry. I should go to the kitchen. Oh that's, that's the sound of my stomach. I thought something was behind me. Okay. I should go to the kitchen, stop preparing dinner. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Aha! Well, this already looks pretty creepy. Uh, I need to look for my lighter and the light stove. Is that a lighter? Lighter! And light the stove. Hey! Did I say earlier I need to find my lighter and the light stove? I think I might have done. Okay, so now what do I need to do with this? Add corn to the cauldron. Corn? I don't remember eating any corn. Oh, tomato. Where is le corn? Is that a store cupboard or anything? Oh, there's a thunderstorm going on outside. Ha ha! Corn! Add a carrot to the cauldron. Well, that's where tomatoes are. So have I got carrots around here? Why does he keep all of his different, like, foods so separate? You know what? Fuck your logic. I'm gonna put a tomato in. It won't let me. <laughs> um. Oh! I can go out here. Okay. Have I got... Where are the carrots? Do I have to literally pick them from the garden or something? Hello? Hi? Nice to meet you. <laughs> what? Okay. Well... She's fast. She's been uh, running some marathons. I'm just walking around the garden with a tomato in my hands. Shit scared of what's happening in my garden. I think I'm gonna close the door. Though she's probably already inside. Gotta be outside somewhere. A little portaloo. I might just hide in here if that's okay. No, it won't let me. Okay. Is there anything out here? No. It just allows me to look out there just for the creepy factor. Where are my carrots? I mean, I just want to add a tomato, but uh, the way the game views it... This is not a carrot! Ah, uh, I found the carrots, everyone. I found the carrots. I had a tiny little allotment that obviously I couldn't see because I'm blind. Just wish I could sprint or at least speed walk. 
Even after seeing what he saw, my character just thinks a slow stroll is suitable. Add a tomato. I know exactly where they are. Ha ha! Add salt. I know exactly where that is as well. Ha ha! What was that? I need to grab some meat from upstairs. Uh, from the upstairs room as it's the cauldron I left the room key in my bedroom. I did see that. Thing is, I'm pretty sure that lady we saw outside might have gone upstairs. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Hello. She just ran right through me again. I, I think she just wants some dinner. Oh. Oh. Well, oh, and she's still dripping with blood. Lovely. Well, I just came to get some meat, love. So am, am I just slicing some off you? Barn key. Oh, I could do with that. Have I got some meat in here? Meat! Oh, oh, that is some nasty looking meat. I better close the freezer. Because I am responsible. So responsible, I am keeping the dead body of a random woman who I do not know in my attic. These just look like brains. I'm not sure if I want brain in my stew. The smell of cooking flush makes my mouth watery. <laughs> I can't wait to take a bite. Dinner should be ready soon. Lovely. Well, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go and get that barn key because I want to have a little look at uh, what's uh, cooking up in the barn. Close the freezer, Ollie. You are responsible. She's going to be in the barn, isn't she? Got a feeling she's going to be in the barn. Dinner's done. I will come back to the barn. I'm not going to pass up a chance for a tasty meal. Even though I'm very curious as to what is in that barn. Time to grab myself a plate. But do I need to... Oh, I need to get a plate first. Okay. Plate! I'm looking forward to some grub. That doesn't look at all that appetizing in all honesty. Ending B. The colour and texture are perfect. The smell is intoxicating. I will favour every inch of it. It's so tender. I'm going to play it again because I think there's another ending. Just going to uh, not bother with the meat for now. Just going to grab the barn key and I'm going to go and see what's in the barn. I'm not even sure if I want to look now. But I'm going to anyway because hey ho, I like alternative endings. A noose! The hunger never ends. The things I've done disgust me. Thoughts of ending it always cross my mind. Will this be the day I call it quits, or should I embrace my destiny? Right. I'm confused. That's a spirit level. He had to get that perfectly straight, just so he could put a noose on it. Because you see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the thing with uh, building works is, if you don't get that perfectly straight, the noose just isn't going to sit right. And then, when you do it, you just... You're not going to die properly. You've got to get those dimensions absolutely perfect. Let's end it. Oh, first person view. Right. Well, good riddance to a cannibal, I'm assuming. There it is. Right, okay. That was definitely an interesting one. And I really like the idea of putting multiple endings in there, even if there was only two. Unless there is more than two. Tell me if there is. I might have missed them. I really feel like more could have been done with that game, but at the same time, I did enjoy it for what it was. It was a pretty good concept, so yeah, fair play. Okay, guys, now we've got a game called Don't Do It. Interesting looking game. I'm unsure where... I just saw all of that random... Sh what the fuck is all of that? Oh, in the background there. Right, okay. Well, I think I know what I've got in store for me now. But I have heard that a lot of people have been playing this game, so let's give it a go and see what it's all about. I got hired as a new scientist three months ago and was placed in the genetic engineering team. We have restricted access to certain areas in the building. <coughs> do apologise. <laughs> Some have said we'd lose more than our jobs if we are too curious. But how can I not be when I sometimes hear strange noises? I think I took away from the atmosphere with that burp, I do apologise. <laughs> Once when I worked late at night, I saw a crowd of people being led downstairs, but I never saw them again. I brought it up to my lab manager and he said not to worry about it. I don't think it was a good idea to tell him. I wonder what the research lab is brewing. Well, that already sounds pretty creepy. 
Oh! Am I in the research lab? <laughs> I'm just in here. There's no door that led me in here. E to play the recorder. Day 309, log number 3. This is Dr. Nguyen, director of JN Squared Bioweaponry Research Lab. We made history today. Specimen number 21. Oh shit, I accidentally turned it off. I didn't mean to do that. Can I play that again? God damn it. Starting the game again because I want to hear all of it. There's something in my pocket. Day 309, log number 3. This is Dr. Nguyen, director of JN Squared Bioweaponry Research Lab. We made history today. Specimen number 21 survived. It is a beauty, a deadly one. We will continue to monitor its behavior in the observatory. Right, well, ooh, well this is creepy. Um, the shit in the drawer. Day three, four, six, ooh. Log number two. Someone was curious and pressed the button last night while I was away. Because it opened a barred door of the observatory, half of my staff didn't make it out alive. Ooh, so something killed half of the staff, okay. Picked up uh, her keycard. Can I play the music? No, I don't think I really want to play the music. I might att attract unwanted attention. Okay, so I'm guessing it's her key card. What the f I've got a feeling there's something in here with me. Squared Bioweaponry Research Lab. Right, okay, well, this is already looking... Oh, number 21 got out. Oh. Y you know, this really reminds me of uh, that first Pokemon movie, where they're just cloning all the Pokemon. I think Mewtwo got out. Use number pad. Well, I don't know the code yet, so I'm assuming I need to find the code. What have I got here? Day 410, lock number one. Today is the debut of our greatest discovery to other members of our secret organization. Everyone is excited. The world favors chaos over peace. My name will be written down in history as the creator of version one. Okay, so they censors. Whatever it was called. Keycard. I can't use that on the number pad. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. If I opened up my Pokeball and Mewtwo looked like that, I'd put it straight back in its Pokeball. Let's have a look. What's down here? Observatory. Don't press it. I'm not going to press it yet. I'm assuming I will have to press that at some point. Hello? Fuck. There's somebody behind it as well. I don't have a flashlight or anything. Restricted area? Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. What's around here? Oh, it's the don't press button. Well, I wanna see what's down the other end of here first. Oh, nothing, okay. I do not want to go into the observatory. I need a key to unlock the controls for this. Oh, are you kidding me? Wondering what the key code is. Is it something to do with these? 4, 11, 19. The ones that have actually got stuff in, maybe? 4, 11, 19, 2, 10. I'm confused. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I've... I think I came into the observatory a different way. Oh, don't do it. Picked up the key. I want to pick up that. Day 377, log number 4. Food supply is running low. We have been under suspicion for our large orders. It is time to move to plan B. Ooh. So now can I press the don't push it button? Don't press it. What does that do? 
What does that do? What does it do? Does that just let it out? Still somebody stood there. I don't know if I want to go that way yet. It's so dark. I need to find this code. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, it's definitely following me around here. Can I go back in through this way? I'm thinking maybe it's left the room. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So, are the, is this the team that all died? Oh, I'm confused. Either way, I know I need the code for that door. This is confusing me so much. So, so much. Is there, like, any other items? I know that key was on that guy. Is there anything here? Oh, hello. Oh, 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 is that the code? 45671. 45671. 45671. 45671. 45671. I'm not going to forget that. 45671. 45671. Okay. Pull the lever. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's not over. Oh, fuck. Did I do all that? Just by pressing that button? Oh, there's a few of them now. Hello. Hi. How you doing, puppy? Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you an army of Tulumnus. Tulumnus. And that's it. Okay then. That game just confused the living bejesus out of me. Like, should I have pressed the button or was there another way around things? I really don't know. The concept of it was definitely interesting. I did enjoy it, but hey ho, I like your style. Well done. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode of Quick Scares. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It would mean an awful lot to me if you did. And make sure you're hitting that little notification bell as well guys. And you'll be kept up to date about when I upload my latest videos. And why not follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you'll be the first to know about what's coming out on the channel. Again guys, thank Thank you so much for watching. This has been Quick Scares, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>